Hey guys, it's Will here coming at you with another video review on some models. We've looked at a bunch of Star Wars models here. So now we're going to look at the next batch of stuff, which is Conflict 47. This is the British This is the British automatons. So these are uh, their special things. So England's whole gimmick for Conflict is automated robots. And so there's two kits of these. There's this one with the MMGs, and then there's a kit with HMGs, which for some reason, they're more expensive, but they use less metal. I don't get it, but anyways. Anyways, so uh, yeah, so this is their robots. And then we have, let's zoom this in for you. Here we go. So we have our dudes to tell you about what you get in them about the rift tech and stuff so, yeah. there you go. so we're gonna open this box up here we'll see what's inside so opening the box we have five circle bases which I believe these should be on bigger bases personally because they're seven foot tall robot men uh, we have it's our boy it's actually it's our girl but it's our boy Voss still warlord we when the review when warlord reveals her because they've been doing a thing recently where they've been showing off their workers like saying hey look at what we do in the warehouse we'll do a, uh, a review reveal reaction video on that but it's been kind of a running joke for the channel uh, no not meant to be any sort of hate or weirdness to the person uh, it just, it's been a running gag with the, uh, with the group of friends about packaging people, and in Vass we trust, so if she ever packs any of your stuff, she, she normally packs it really well and you don't, you won't be missing things. So, let's open up. This is the thick foam. Keep this stuff for your weathering effects. It's worth it. And then we open this up, and uh, I'll be right back. Well, I'm back here. We're taking a look at the automated infantry. I finally have them primed and built. So let's take a look at them. So one box comes with five based. Uh, some other bundles and stuff might give you more. But here we have... Here he is. Then we have our crouching dude who's been injured and one last one the sergeant of the unit basically and if I find the rules for these on their easy army builder I will post it for you right now but let's go over the rules so from the rule book the core rule book uh, there might be FAQs for this we are looking at, where are they? Automated infantry section. It is on page 166 of the Conflict Core rulebook. Uh, they are 60 points regular. Uh, they cannot be veteran or, or uh, inexperienced. Though to be fair, uh, that won't really matter for them because of the next rules we'll read here. They come in units of two. So technically, in, as this book is written, it comes with two units and an extra. You can add up to three extra dudes to the unit, hence the, th the three dudes here, um, for 30 points each, and they come based with MMGs. Or you can replace your HMGs, or your MMGs with HMGs, for 20 points each. They are large infantry, resilient, slow, automated, and they have no sergeant. So, for purposes, I know large and resilient. Uh, resilient uh, has something to do with wound negation. Kind of like a feel no pain. Uh, armored infantry get this. Large infantry just means it takes up, I believe it's about two or three spots on a transport to, to carry it instead of just one. And slow is just like with vehicles, so they can't really run. And uh, they only move like three inches or something like that. But automated is a new rule, which we can actually go right now and check it up. 
Hey, automaton. Automatons have basic, so this is again, there could be an FAQ about this or you'll see it on the rule page uh, on the screen. But automatons have a basic decision making ability but lack quick reactions are true human judgment. Automatons have the following special rule. They cannot be given an assault or ambush order. They cannot carry out reactions. They must take an order test on every re re receipt of an uh, reception uh, when when they're given an order they must make an order test even if they have no pins they may fire weapons whilst moving while well, the normal minus one to hit modifier oh yeah because they're slow so you're going to make them walk so you're going to make them run or you know run so you can get your full movement and they can still fire while running they are immune to horror again because they're robots they cannot benefit from medics or proximity of officers again they're immune to fear and they cannot benefit from national special rules again they're robots so why would you take these guys besides um, you know normal dudes uh, resilience troopers with the resilience special rule have a damage value of six plus when being fired upon they use their normal morale level in hand to hand so basically they're um, considered to be a, um, a soft skin vehicle of a six plus so you need a, a weapon with a pen modifier to hurt them. Um, so yeah, so why would you take these over infantry? Well, besides the obvious, you have MMGs. Uh, the nice thing with them is they're immune to terror units. So if you play against a lot of Russians who go into the biology side of things or Germans, you're going to be running into a lot of those. So these guys can basically be your... Um, the opposite of the the zombie or the to totem corpse that the Germans have, so less dudes, but that's like that's twenty five shots coming out of this unit because with M MMGs, or you can give them the HMGs, which you know gives them that plus one pen so they can hurt soft skin vehicles. But again, this is going off without looking to see if they've been updated. Uh, the other reason why you take them is yeah, that's really about it. Um, you just buy them for 60 points, you send them out in units, groups of two, they're infantry, so 10 shots coming out of robot men that are soft skinned vehicles that are immune to uh, fear tactics, pretty good. I think they may have been updated so they can't be ran off the table for morale, but I would see that. But anyways. That's been the video of these guys. If you want to see how these guys come out painted someday, feel free to follow my Twitter. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Click the video. Click it. Click the video, you know you want to. Click it.